dedicating your time to learn something which is not appreciated in the materialistic world all of you are doing actually jnana yajna you will learn punya don't worry so leave your worry just relax i will try to convey an important message from my guru to which is very essential to get into the essence and understanding what lord krishna is trying to tell us in bhagavad gita so in one of my class i touched an important aspect the concept of adhyatma which is dharma so our scripture talks about two things dharma and brahma dharma is relative brahma is absolute so two things one which is variable relative changes from time to time and one which is constant and eternal. which is all pervading eternal immortal all those qualities you can attribute so the scriptures veda gives the full knowledge required for a man to lead his life comfortably comfortably you have to underlay because we have spoiled our own comfort that is the question okay so the first shloka in bhagavad gita starts from the word dharma dharma kshetre samaveta yutsavah मामकाहा but it is so, so dharma kshetre okay just imagine that you are in the cosmic level you are gone out you only you are there you are able to listen and see and visualize everything only you are there just imagine the entire universe there in, in front of you all the galaxies stars planets comets meteor everything sun moon solar system milky way galaxy everything is in front of you just visualize you see everything is in action sun is giving the energy planets are rotating comets is rotating in the highly elliptical orbit everything is doing is work if everything is doing is work there should be something controlling it no there should be, and there is a law which controls the position of every heavenly body vishwa universe there is a something which is controlling it that something is actually called as dharma in sanskrita dharma is defined as dharyate iti dharma the one which supports the one which is 
essence which is the binding force keeping everything working is dharma this is the first universal broad definition of dharma so dharma is the substratum on which everything is there so dharma only one covers everything and what that everything is is it static no it is in motion dynamics so it is supporting a system a cosmic system huge power you cannot even imagine everything it is supporting so that binding force is dharma in its macro and major definition from that point of view see how krishna connects it to intuition that is the greatest of krishna 